So I live in Japan and every now and again I'll receive some kind of flyer for like a recently built condominium or something like that and I'm always kind of blown away by how beautiful the images are and sometimes I've wanted to do something like for example make a model of the floor plans that they give but it takes a lot of time to do things like that so I figured I would just build it in the sims because why not? <laughs> so you can see that there's an A type and a B type and we're going to be tackling the B type today. Uh, and so starting out, um, I basically sketched out the floor plan just so that I could get an idea of like how many spaces I would want in order for the Sims to be able to still function. Um, and after that, um, when I had time, I, I uh, jumped into the game and then I started to sort of space it out. And I had decided that I was going to do it kind of, as you can see that there's eight walls across, but I think that based on the floor plan, making it seven walls across would have given me a few, few, uh, few fewer problems in terms of, um, especially mapping out the entrance. Um, but as you can see, slowly but surely, and the reason why there are so many little brief pauses is of course because I'm ref referencing two different materials. Not only am I referencing the original floor plan, but I'm also referencing my sketch. And I'm just kind of looking at both of them trying to see where did I go wrong, especially in this little area here. So you can see I did eventually make that part a little shorter. Um, and I was also considering making the living room a little shorter and I think I probably could have even gotten away with that um, The spacing is fine, but gen like for the sims, but generally in Japan apartments are Very small even when you have a place that's kind of like luxurious even when you have a place that's kind of That seems kind of spacious. It's still small in ways that you know If you're not used to it, you wouldn't it would be kind of unexpected for you and so uh, with this floor plan um, I was talking about the width of it, probably in the living room area at least, I would have made it uh, one square narrower. And that's just simply because this little area here was so confusing, like I wasn't sure exactly what was going on. And having it be one square shorter um, would have resolved the issue that I was having. But I also thought that it was very curious because they have like these, this door to this little room and I am not sure what this room is supposed to be. Uh, but it's kind of closed off to, um, not closed off, it, it interferes with a door that's going into the main living space. And I'm like, why? <laughs> just simply why? I don't know. I just don't understand why it exists. And you might also be able to hear some rat-a-tat-tat outside. Um, construction in my city, just generally speaking. Is, is crazy, okay? It's, it's, it's non-stop, so that's why. And I, I can't ever find a really good time to record, especially during the day, that doesn't include some type of weird construction noise. So anyway, as I continued to, um, I, I eventually finished mapping out the floor plan, and then I just started putting down the little pieces of furniture that were going to go um, in each area, the basic pieces of furniture, and those are going to be the ones that um, are actually shown or else your sims just basically need, okay? So it shows like a little area for a stove, it shows a little area for a sink, but again, that space actually is only two across. And it was something that I had drawn, but for some reason when I was mapping out the floor plan, when I was actually doing it in the sims, I just made it super wide. And I'm like, it just needs one less space and it would be, be good. But at least for, I think that what, okay, the final product I feel is proportionate and that's the most important thing. Um, okay, and so this little area as well was a little confusing. Um, I could tell that they had a sink on one side, but what was supposed to be on the other side, I wasn't exactly sure, but I felt fairly certain that it was supposed to be a washing machine because in Japan, they just give you a space for a washing machine, assuming that you're going to buy one and have one in your house. I don't quite understand it. I think it would be much more economical if the people who make the apartments here, whatever the development companies are, whoever, if they just have a laundry room, like somewhere in the basement or like somewhere on the first floor. Um, and the buildings are pretty small, but at the same time, it's like, it's really weird to expect every individual person in an apartment building to have their own washing machine. Um, oh, also here with the four doors across, 
it is indicated on the floor plan that that's pretty much what's going on. It's like a huge, it's like a huge sliding door. Don't ask you why I was about the curse <laughs> thing, thingamabob. But that design of the slide, the four slot sliding doors in our game, they, they don't fit the decor of this at all. So I just changed it to a uh, two, uh, a two slot door, a double door basically, um, instead of a sliding door. Uh, so that's one of the major changes that I made. And again, this is me just sort of plopping in the items that I can see um, either as indicated on the floor plan or that are indicated um, in the in the pictures. Um, and in Japan, um, having a separate shower and a separate bath is common. There's usually one little room and that room will have basically what you need. It'll have your um, the bathtub off to the side. It'll have the shower. Usually there's a mirror. And um, some places come with it, but otherwise you have to buy like a little stool. And the idea is that you take a shower and clean yourself outside of it. So like the entire floor is meant to hold water and drain water. And then after that, you relax and soak in the bath, right? The bath is not to get clean. The bath is basically to soak and do whatever kind of cultural thing they feel or health thing that they feel they are getting out of the bath. Um, so I wanted to find a little stool and I was so happy going through this entire thing. I felt I had basically the perfect, uh, custom content for each thing that I needed to show or indicate. And so that made me really happy. Um, by the way, okay. So in one of the reference images, you can see that there's some wine glasses that are just kind of hanging off of like a ceiling thingamabob and the ceiling thingamabob has a bunch of alcohol on it this is one of those examples of, oh i have so much alcohol please don't ask me why i have this in my game i don't know <laughs> it's just for such occasions and they also had those little wine glasses but it took me forever to put them in place so i kind of skipped ahead on that part and in the picture you can see that this little area here is actually some kind of I don't want to think that it's movable, but it's some kind of custom custom made shelving unit, um, which I was not going to be able to do like in the game because in terms of like the depth, in terms of like the width and things like that, it just doesn't allow for things like that. So I just made that with a half wall. And as you can see, we're starting now to put a, few, a little bit more of the features, you know, the wallpaper, uh, the flooring is matching what's in the, uh, not the video. Uh, what's in the original uh, design of the image and as much as possible I'm trying to stick to what the picture shows like as much as possible I'm trying to just kind of mimic uh, what you can see in the picture and you know CC was basically coming in clutch not every item is CC for example that table um, I think we got this year is free content in the game <clears throat> the dining table okay so then over here um, I have some like this uh, little shelving unit thing and I don't know where I got it from but one of the things one of the problems I started to run into when I was trying to do the decor I have so many clutter items but the only thing that I don't really have are very flat and low decor items so it was very difficult for me to figure out what kind of things to put on here what kind of shelving like how to arrange the shelves that was the first problem and you, you saw I had to move the door for example and then how to like make it so that I can actually put things on it and have it look nice have it look like put together but because that space on the on the lower shelf of this unit is just so so close to the shelf to the upper shelf of the unit it was almost impossible for me to find items that fit under there that actually fit the decor that look nice you know so I, I did the best that I could but <clears throat> excuse me I'm not sure if after all it worked out in a way that I'm happy with and in the picture, um, it has really nice, like interesting, like lighting, like under cabinet lighting. So I had to delete a wall or two a few times in order to get the under cabinet lighting on the upper shelves and the bottom shelves. And that part I cut because also it was just, it, you know, thing when you, whenever you try to do things, it, it starts to take a long time. So you, you know, <laughs> you don't want to see the same thing over and over and over again. So I just kind of cut that part out. Um, and, um, the final thing that I did was this master bath, um, excuse me, master bedroom. And this is me just putting down what you can see in the picture. Um, almost everything else, I really hope you can hear me because the drilling sound is making me feel like you can't hear me. I just hope that I can edit it out. Um, but basically what I did that I'm showing in this recording is basically what is shown in, in the pictures. And then almost everything beyond that, especially the little clutter items, um, I did uh, behind the scenes. 
Uh, so very shortly, you'll be able to see the finished product. You'll be able to see how everything basically came together. All right, so here we are walking in through the front. Uh, here is a little hallway. This, it, whatever, sorry, this part here is uh, different because it doesn't actually exist in the floor plan. And the pictures were actually giving, the pictures were actually giving two different uh, um, styles, I think. It was like room C, room B, like room A or whatever, maybe three different styles. But we don't have all, like, it didn't give the floor plan for room C, but it just gave some pictures. So I just decided to incorporate that a little bit in this little hall because it's a little bigger than it was supposed to be. Uh, so you can see the shoe, the little shoe area, because in Japan you don't wear your shoes throughout the apartment. You take your shoes off and you get home. All right, and so here this is completely new uh, because they show this room, but they didn't show it in the like they. This room is indicated on the floor plan, but there are no design ideas for this room, so it's just completely new. Um, and we'll just have a really quick look around. I actually think that this room is fantastic, and I imagine that it's like a teen. Um, like a teen girl or something that lives here with her parents or something like it's a three I think having a three-person house is very very common in Japan um, And so I imagine she's either either a high school student or she's a college student It's not unusual for people to stay at home uh, through college. They might go live in a dorm or they might stay at home uh, Some of them move out, you know, but it's not uncommon to be living with your parents while you're in college in Japan um, and so um, here's the little kitchen area um, I had to, I lowered the ceiling and I wish I had remembered to lower the ceiling before because once I realized it was going to be really difficult for me to like rearrange certain things that I already arranged, if possible, I'd like to uh, make the ceiling one more step lower. It's on the mid the mid style now. And this part here is a little unfortunate. This little thing I tried to do, that shelf is way too high. You can't see what's up there, but it's all right. We'll live. Uh, there's a washing machine and a dryer. Dryers basically don't exist in Japan unless you go to a laundromat, but it's the Sims, so I decided to just have a uh, dryer there, just in case I decide to use this later. And as you can see that little space there, I moved the stool there. It's just, I think it makes more sense to have that, to have it there out of the way when you're taking a shower, and then moving it back where you need it when you're going to wash your hair and things like that. All right, and so a lot of the little clutter items, now there's somebody like drag racing or something. I don't even understand why everybody's being so noisy when I'm trying to record my video. <laughs> Um, anyway, um, you can see that there are so many different types of clutter items that I used because I was trying to repl replicate the look that was in the um, on the pamphlet. Uh, and some of these things are new. Uh, some of them, this little shot here is uh, relatively close to what you see in the picture. And then, of, of course, this little area here on the side where the TV is is new because we didn't get any indication of what that would look like. Uh, so I just wang it. <laughs> I winged it. <laughs> whatever you, I wung it. Whatever you say. <laughs> Um, and so I was having a lot of fun putting the little items down and trying to make it seem full, trying to make it seem complete, trying to make it seem lived in. But the major problem that I had is just that it it didn't match as well as I was hoping that it would. And because it it's not real life, it just looks really cluttered. <laughs> like it just simply looks cluttered. Like it just simply looks like you have way too many little items um, everywhere. Um, but yeah, overall I'm happy with it because it's very similar to the final design. But yeah, if I, there are some things that I could change, there are some things that I would change if I could. But I really do like that under cabinet lighting. I think it looks fantastic. So at least that I'm happy about. Okay, so as you can see, we're just going to look at some of the shots that are showing us the pictures from the pamphlet and then what the end product looked like in the game. This one's my favorite. That bedroom is my favorite. <laughs> And I want to like this one a little more, but it just looks so cluttered. And the, these are just a few shots of the little bedroom that I made up. It's not existent in the pictures. I'd like to thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in another video.